like like the wolf will kill the animal. We are part of the nature. Okay. So you're you're tying in what indigenous tribes had to do in a survival yeah. situation, along with we've always done it, and now you're bringing in another one, which is animals do it in nature. Yeah. That's if you just stop keeping the animals, you end up with billions of animals. This is a different yeah. topic. You've got yeah. now six or seven on the table. Yeah. Like if I had a bunch of human beings and they had an incredible amount of well-being and I went through and shot them all in the face and cut them up and ate them, would that be cruel? What about the plants then? Try to convince big companies not to overproduce food so we're not going to waste so much. So there is the, the first step. Yeah, so they're not going to stop overproducing if you don't stop giving them money. Why would they stop? You want to sit down with me, mate? So, How, What's your name? Come sit down. Yeah. How are you, my friend? What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, good to meet you, Thomas. So we've got the sign here and it seemed to perk your interest. You were looking yeah. at it and you were like, hmm. Why well, I'm not. Why aren't you vegan? Uh, don't have the time. You don't have the time? Yeah. So convenience. Yeah. It's not convenient enough for you to be vegan. Yeah. So, so do you so know what being you have to You have to switch, literally either start to cook your own meal or you have to switch the whole family to become vegan. Oh, so you have a family? Yeah. Okay. So do you know what a vegan is? And why, why, is someone, why would someone be vegan? What, what would motivate there's, them? There's a lot of reasons to be vegan. I'm not saying it's, it's wrong. No, no, no. I'm so what saying it, it's no, right. It's just, for, you know, time. But for the... I want to I know from your perspective what you think would motivate someone to be vegan. Then I want to I wanna see so, what... So, for example, for me, uh, uh, to be healthier. To be healthy? That's what, what, what I will do. So do you think... What do you think veganism... Vegan means? Do you think it's to be healthy, or do you think no, it's... No, no, it's, it's, about, it's about so many different things, because you, you have to save the planet, you yeah, have yeah. to save, save the animals, you know, animal yeah, cruelty. Okay. There's so many things. There we are. So, yeah. So, the word vegan means to avoid exploitation and cruelty to animals. Okay. That's what that means. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. That's what the movement was based upon. That is what the definition of vegan is. It's avoid uh, the cruelty, to, cruelty and exploitation of animals as far as possible and practicable. That's what a vegan is. So the next question would be, because you're saying like it's practically inconvenient to do, like yeah, it, it's, it's changing. Not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. So, so do you, are you against the cruelty to animals? Of course. I mean, okay. who in, with, the, with the right mind wouldn't be? Exactly what I want to hear. But like, would you consider like um, taking animals, breeding them to kill them for their bodies, would you consider that cruel? No. Okay. Okay. No, so why not? I, no, because you know, it's generally um, people were eating meat for you know since the beginning. So it's not that it's, the the problem is not to eat meat. It's to make it on. So generally, you know, uh, you go back to, to let's say uh, America, yeah, the the indigenous people. Yeah. They were only killing people, with the, uh, animals, animals, when they needed to eat, nothing else. Survival. So, only survival. So they will not kill just to store, just to have more. I understand that. So, that's, that's you know, that's, that's when I think it's, you, it's you not think a that, problem. So, wait, one moment, that's when you think it's what? Justified? It's not about being justified. We, we don't have we, to be justified to we, do this? We generally try to survive, yes? I want to put these on the table, yeah. survive. Okay, we got, we've always done it, yeah. and survival. These yeah. are your two reasons that we should do this now? Yeah. Okay, so, do you, so first off, let's just, just attack, we've always done it. We've yeah. done it for a long time. You said for, what did you say? Thousands, uh, thousands since of years. the beginning, yeah. So I wanna ask you this question. Do you think because we've always done something, or it's always been this way, that that justifies our behavior now? No, it doesn't work like that, I would okay. say. Yeah, because there's other things you know, that have happened for yeah, a long time. So, so generally, yeah. you know, if we only will stick to the old ways, there wouldn't be a problem now. But we didn't, because pe people are we become, greedy. We become, well, so, wait a second. Yeah. Well, well, you think it's, it wasn't a problem sticking to old ways? No. You, you don't think there was anything that happened in the past that was a problem? No, I'm talking about, you know, uh, let's say, the, uh, go back to the... Um, the Indians you know, and Americans. Yeah. Indig so indigenous they, people. They just only, they, they make sure that the, they don't harm the animals, they don't harm the, the population, they don't harm Earth. They, they make sure that everything is just right. Yes, yeah. they have their way. Like, like the wolf will kill the animal. I understand. Yeah, it's fine. You Wolves. know, it's the nature. We it's are part of the nature. Okay, so now we've got a few things here. So you're, you're tying in um, 
what indigenous uh, tribes had to do in a survival situation, along with we've always done it. And now, and now you're bringing in another one, which is animals do it in nature. Yep. So these are the three things. I'm, I'm familiar with all of these things, yep. by the way. I'm just I'm trying to get your reasons on the table because then I want to juxtapose or, or compare that, those justifications yep. with it's too hard. Okay, because they're, they're, they seem to be the things that, that are coming to mind. Yeah? yeah. That's, that's that fair? I'm being yeah. fair of your position? Yeah. Before we go ahead? Okay. Now, because we've done it for a long time, obviously there's things that have happened. Human slavery has happened for a long time. Course, we've yes. killed each other for a long time. Yeah. We can't use it's happened for a long time as a moral justification to keep doing something. It's not about morally justifying this. Well, well, that, let, me get, that. well let me get to, let me yeah. tie this into your points. But you said because indigenous tribes did this back then for survival too, then, then because we've always done it and because indigenous tribes did it and they only took what they needed, that's why we are justified in doing what we do now in civilization. No, we should, you know, it's, it's, it's generally do you, do you see what, where I'm what going, brother? in a civilized, a civilized world, yes, we started to see that profit is more important than basic needs. So we, that, that's it. You know, generally, if we go back to produce only enough food for our survival, that wouldn't be a problem. But there's lots of problems because we overproduce the, the meat, we overproduce everything. And so that's you, it. So let me ask we're you this. Are you fact, by that. I, I understand that the planet is a big problem too. And the reason we're killing the planet is because we're growing resources to feed to animals. Oh, that's that yeah, is one of the exactly. main reasons. Well, land use. Thing, so, yeah. so like I think it's close to ninety percent of land use. So we've got like eighty-three percent of farmland use on Earth is to grow crops or to graze land for animals. Yeah. So we can feed them. So yeah, we can to, eat the animals. Yeah. So do you see this big disparity in resource use? Yeah. We're using all our resources to feed animals. So eating animals is the problem. So even if no, everyone ate overproducing. What? The food because we we vastly overproduce. So let's just so if we if we wouldn't overproduce, that wouldn't be a problem because we wouldn't need so much resources to actually produce meat. Well, well let me so just put that's it. the problem. So let's just say we've got seven billion people here. Yeah. What would you consider too many? What, what would you consider overproducing and killing animals? So, how, so what, what's, I would say like that. Yes. So how many animals can you eat? So no, I would say like that. How many times a week you need meat? None. Zero. Zero. Okay. Fine. I will say, if I will eat once or twice a week, that's fine. But people so you, tend to you, eat meat at least seven times a week. So if seven billion people ate meat one to twice a week, like you're suggesting, yeah. how many animals go to the slaughterhouse every year? Probably like, a, you know, a fifth of what is going now. Yeah, yeah probably a lot, a lot so, less, but, a lot less. But, but the thing is that if you just stop, you know, breathing, like literally stop keeping the animals, you end up with Billions of animals. This is a different topic. This is a different yeah. topic. We can bring. So, we can talk. I can talk about all yeah. these topics because you're you're jumping. You've got yeah. now six or seven on the table. Yeah. So you agree. Let, let's just get this because now let me not forget this. What you're saying. You're saying um, if we stop breeding animals, we're going to have so many animals we won't know what to do yeah. with. Yeah. So we have to keep eating them to keep. No. Them. We 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 supposed to just lower it, lower it year by year. We should we yeah, should yeah. lower it. There's a way to do this. Use, yes. Uh, you uh, you uh, produce less meat. To the point, we only produce a little bit of meat, so just for our survival, but not you, you to don't, okay, survival. waste a lot of you, food. Uh, you can't use survival because we don't need meat to survive. Yeah. You can't use that. Because so you can, can you eat, can, do you need meat to survive? Just a question. No. So, so you can't use survival? Yeah, but, so, but, so, but there's, there's another thing. You okay, know? but, but so, so for now, let's, let's, before, we we continue, that, before we continue, can you take survival off of the table? Do you need a smartphone to survive? No. Exactly. So, so you, I'm not using you, survival as a justification. So, so generally, but so generally, we could get get rid of a lot of stuff. To, to no, no, of course. Yeah. I'm not saying survival is my is my threshold. You are, you are saying no. that. I never said survival. I, I think well-being and having practical things is good, but not when it creates a mass murder of conscious beings. I don't think it's justified. Survival might be your only way out, but I'm saying you don't, you can't use that because you're not eating meat to survive. Yes and no. No, we don't. The, question, not. the question is, can we get everyone and feed them only plant-based meat, the plant-based stuff? Well, food. You were talking about practical sense. The question was, why aren't you vegan, right? Why aren't you? Because obviously we haven't even got human beings to stop murdering each other yet. Yeah, true. Yeah. That still happens. Of course. So it's it's hard in a practical sense 
for us to stop getting human beings to murder each other. Human slavery still exists. Of course. It's hard in a practical sense to get everyone to stop enslaving humans. Yeah. Right? But you don't do it. Of course I don't. So, so my question is to you, why aren't you vegan? I told you, because, because it's impractical. No, because but, because okay. to actually be a vegan, it takes much, much more work to do it. Okay, because I want to talk about this. I want to help you with that. But there, there's a principle. The principle reason is what I'm concerned with more because that would be your motivation to make that easier. Because if the motivation is strong enough, this, this, other, this convenience thing doesn't become so hard. Yeah, we st with my wife we stop eating. Literally, we uh, probably get down, uh, down to about five percent of the meat we were actually eating for a year. That's good. That's fine. Good. But then we we come back to eat a little bit more meat simply because it just was so much hassle to make sure that There's we got everything. There's a lot of things you have to worry about. Yeah. And then obviously the pandemia happened, and there was literally a problem to buy anything. I get what you're because saying. Because suddenly, suddenly nothing was available. I understand what you're saying. You have a, you, you have a convenient... Life happens and it's hard to think. You haven't probably considered this, the moral implications of what you're doing. But through the eyes of the, the victims, because we always look at it through our, our eyes, don't yes, we, human course. beings? We, we only care about how it feels for us. Yeah. But for the animals, the chickens who are sentient, conscious birds, yeah. the cows who are conscious animals, yeah. like dogs, you know, you would avoid I dog. Know. Would you avoid dog? Eating a dog. You're eating the dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If it, it, like, you don't need it for survival. You just want it for yeah. a burger. It's a little hard to avoid. Would you buy it or would you look for a plant based? No, of course. You know, there's, there's another thing. You know, we are born to certain ways. Yes? Yeah, yeah. It's now, culture. Try to, try to explain to, to the Chinese people that the eating dog is wrong when they always did it since they were born. You know, not all, were not all Chinese people eat dogs. Yeah, of course, a small, but a, there's you, a small portion of people over in China that do If yeah. you end up growing up there it's it's the same like with religion I you know you. i was i was born in poland so i was automatically catholic i get you if i will be born in um let's say arabic country i will be muslim, muslim. of course there is there's cultural no, conditioning so this is just cultural conditioning yeah. but uh, i think in my eyes i think it's it, you know we should try to uh reduce reduce okay but don't try to just get everyone on a vegan because that's not going to happen. That, that's just no, 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 not but, possible. But, 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 so, but brother, so, but we, yeah. I don't care if it's not going to happen no. because we haven't stopped murdering each other. I don't murder because it's not going to happen. No, no. You know what I'm saying? What, so, what I'm saying that's, you know, it's a, a huge difference because between you murdering um, someone or you going to the shop and buying a meat for I, the... For, general population it's totally different thing yeah i get so you but i wasn't gonna get people uh, well, if you're gonna manage in a 10 years or 20 years change five percent of the people on the world that's gonna be a lot so i wasn't equating um murdering people with eating meat i was saying that because people aren't going to stop murdering people that doesn't mean that i should and i'm saying uh, yeah. and what i was saying to you i was comparing that you were saying not everyone's going to go vegan, so that means I shouldn't. No, no, but, no. But, yeah, that's it, what I was... What, that's what, what, I what it is, that means, you know, we should really try to lower the consumption of meat, but, but being if, vegan, yeah. honestly, what I think, like a hu huge number of people will never even consider. Yeah, but we can, it, that, what, that, what that, mean, argument, I mean, that argument doesn't I mean, work. What I mean, yeah. it's for the majority of the people never going to happen but I don't care it doesn't about that. mean it doesn't mean we no, shouldn't it doesn't mean try. you shouldn't act morally because you're against animal cruelty a lot of people some people aren't against am animal acting morally. no no but if you're against like so if you're against cruelty to animals right yeah you're against animal cruelty we we established this yeah. most people are rational people are yeah and uh, when you go to the store and you buy meat do you think those animals uh, have been treated in a cruel way probably part of it no no, they haven't. Probably not. So now, now the thing is that you know, are you assuming that everyone who is actually buying the meat is literally lining up with the, with the animal cruelty? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. And I'm an investigator. I we expose these places all the time. You, yes. you, you, do you live in the UK? Yeah. You eat in the so, UK? Yeah. So we, so we specifically focus on UK farming practices and yeah. slaughterhouses. So. If you don't know, that's because they haven't let the public know about what goes on mm -hmm. in factory farms and slaughterhouses. But let me ask you this. What do you think happens to animals so you can eat them? What do you think happens? 
trust me, I have an idea. You have an idea. So you would agree that when you purchase those products with your money, here you go, yeah. you're paying these people to be cruel to the animals so you can eat them. Yeah, you see, and then, then there we've, we have a problem because, you know, you can't assume that every single person, this is what they're doing. They don't knowingly, yeah. do, they don't knowingly, yeah, no. With, no. with intention, but they yeah. are by yeah. supply and demand. Yeah, kind of, yeah. So what will 100%. be the best option? 100% they so are. So what will be the best option? Be vegan. Is it? Because that's the best way you can reduce your harm to unjustifiable harm. Like it's not justified for me to put a bunch of animals in a slaughterhouse okay. for a sandwich. So now but let, let's me give you the, the example. Okay. My, my grandfather had uh, animals and he will kill them to eat. Now, was that a cruelty? Yes, for the animals, yes. Okay. For the animals, yes. So, if, so if you, I had you, you, think, you think that him really taking care of the animals for all their life and then killing them for food, that's... Yeah, I think it's cruel. Yeah. I so, think it's cruel. Okay. So like, let me just say, like if I had a bunch of human beings in my backyard and I treated them amazingly and they had a incredible amounts of well-being and I went through and shot them all in the face and cut them up and ate them, then that would, would that be cruel? What about the plants then? Would, would that be, one second, would that be cruel? Because yeah. I answered you, that, yeah. that would be cruel. Yeah. So why isn't it cruel for animals? I can tell you why it's not cruel for plants okay. very easily, but why isn't it cruel for animals? No, I'm not saying it's not cruel, it's cruel. Yeah, so but, it's cruel. But, 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 you see so, what I'm saying? So now you're saying that generally, all human beings, which, which whenever they eat meat, that's the cruel people. Yeah. I don't think you, so, so, so you, don't, you don't come across as a cruel person to me. Like I'm no, saying no, that you're doing you're something cruel. No, but you're actually saying that. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying you're doing no, something cruel. If I'm and doing if, something cruel, that means if you're aware, I am. But you might not be. Yeah, but, and three times a day. So, so now, so now you now there's kind of accusing everyone to be cruel, like most of the people being cruel. Yeah, but but not now the, thi not the thing. Not intentionally. Is that, that generally exactly. you have to you have to go back to the basics that we are part of animal kingdom. End of the day, the people. I don't. Thousand, I thousand years ago were still eating meat, which means. What, what? else were they doing? Yeah, they'll do horrible all stuff. Yes, of course. So we're going to. Let me ask is you this. That means that that you know, you're going to ban. My, my brother, my brother. Let me animals ask you. This. Let me ask you this. Animals? I want to ask you. A thousand years ago, they were enslaving people. No, we're talking uh, 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 sixty thousand years ago. No, no, no. A hundred, two hundred years ago, so slavery still happens. But I'm just saying, in the past, a thousand years ago, human slavery happened. Imagine if I had yeah, human slaves but here. You're talking uh, about two different no, subjects. No, 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 no. I'm just comparing. No, no, no. I'm comparing. Um, it's always happened. That's you, all I'm comparing. No, you, you talking about greediness and about survival. That's two different. No, no, subjects. I'm talking about it's always happened. That's no, no, I'm, no. Yeah. But, but you getting to the greediness. So people were enslaved because other people were. Uh, greedy, they wanted to earn the money. That's nothing to do with Indians in, in America killing uh, buffalo to survive. That's, That's a two, survival, two different subjects. So you, cannot, so you cannot get them together and say, oh, this is the same because it's all we have. That doesn't work. No, no, no. I wasn't comparing so, survival because we already exactly took survival off the table. We know you're not trying to survive. No, but but we know you, that these people here but, are in survival. But you situation. did line up those together. No, no, no. We must have been. You must be mistaking what I meant. You said a thousand years ago we ate meat. I don't yeah. care because a thousand years ago we did horrible things. You, you, yeah. Then that, again, you, you you're trying to put the slavery together with survival. No, 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 no. I wasn't. No, yes, no, you did. Because a thousand years ago we were doing um, something horrible, and and I think it's horrible to eat animals. And uh, I was comparing other things they did a, a, a long time ago that are also horrible, and yeah. we can't justify it by saying it's always happened. That's no, all no, I'm no. saying. But you can't get that line up with. It the doesn't same mean thing. those two things are the same. I'm saying but this is what, a thousand what saying. years ago is not a reason to continue doing it. <laughs> no, no. You have to understand that just because people were greedy, it doesn't line up with people wasn't talking about eating greed. to survive. I wasn't talking because about greed. People, no, no, slavery was the greediness. Well, that was people being greedy. Well, well, yeah, what do you enslaving think about, people what, what, to earn the money. That was simple. Okay, what about animals now? Non-human animals now, what are we doing to them? Is that greed? What do you mean? Is it greed what we are doing to non-human animals course. now? Okay. And is it also cruel? This is, this so, is, so it's not survival. So it's not survival. It's not because yeah. we've always done it. It's so, greed. So this is greediness. And is it why? cruel? Why? Is it cruel greed? Of course it is. So why do you pay for it? Why aren't you vegan? Be because I'm trying to survive. Okay. 
I'm not. It's I'm not, not. We've already said it's not listen, survival. Listen, that, that's that's the thing. We already took it I'm off. I'm not buying meat a lot, eating only meat because I think it's fine. No, I'm eating also meat together with all the plants. Yeah. And uh, whatever yeah, I, I can. I could say I'm eating so, also dogs with so, all the plants, or also humans with all the plants. So I, I care about uh, you, the. You see, the produce overproducing of the meat. That's the greediness. So start. I don't think so, so even your backyard scenario. We're not you overproducing. Gave me, even the no, I don't think the problem necessarily is overproducing. The problem it is, is the huge. Way, because it, we're it, wasting it, it, so much meat by overproducing and throwing away. It's it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so, so, so that's the first thing. So before, try to convince everyone to be a vegan. Try to convince big companies not to overproduce food, so we're not gonna waste so much. So there is the the first step. And then, no, no, when no, they're no. gonna stop overproducing, there will be less available. People will start eat less meat. No, 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 that's not how it works. So it's the other way around. Start it's the other way around, way. actually. So businesses businesses only work because you give them money. Yeah. Yeah, so they're not going to stop overproducing if you don't stop giving them money. Why would they stop? Try to try to get people sign a petition. Try to change the law. It's possible. Not, that's, no, it's not. While it's legal. It's while it's legal. So I, I will well, say How can like we that. change a law if you don't even want to? How I will can we change like a law that. if most people? I will people... say like that. I will. That my opinion. The, it's more possible to actually change the law. Then it is then to change actually vegan. change the people to become vegan. Okay. So, so that's my opinion. Uh, okay, let me let me let me oh, unpack so it. I need to go because my, my okay. uh, I'll unpack that without you here. Is, Bless you. Thank you for but, sitting down. But, yeah, so that's that's what I said. Okay. Right? No worries. Thank you. Right. Bye bye. So basically because this gentleman has left, you are never going to change laws without having the public on board with it, which is why we try to change the, the minds of the public. The reason they change laws for women, the reason they change civil rights laws, the reason they change laws is because there's a public uproar and uprising. The reason that slavery is abolished, the reason that, you know, human rights are even human rights <laughs> is because there's an uprising and then there's um, a bunch of people that think it's wrong and then we have a cultural shift. Without uh, changing the hearts and the minds of the people, you're never gonna, gonna get them to support new laws. You're saying like, er, like hey, I've got this petition, um, make uh, eating meat and killing animals illegal. And everyone's like, no, I like my steak, I like my burgers. Animals were put here for us for thousands of years. We're doing it to survive. Animals don't feel pain. What about plants? No one's going to sign it. So how are you going to change laws without changing the hearts and minds of people first? What that was was just a bunch of appeal to futilities. Uh, everyone's not going to change, um, so that means we shouldn't change. Survival was off the table a million times. I think everyone knew that. Because we've always done something is not a justification to keep doing something. I'm not trying to equate two things. I'm just saying because we've always done something is not a very good reason to keep doing something. It's actually incredibly silly reason. Because <laughs> we didn't agree on the principles first. If we don't agree on the principles, why would we address the practical point? Well, the practical point is it's too hard. In the UK, it's actually the most easiest place on earth to be vegan. You can drive down the highway and every single fast food option has got a vegan option there. You can go into every single supermarket and there's vegan stuff for days. Every single pub and restaurant here has a vegan option. You have no excuses in the UK. It's cheaper on average to buy plant foods from Audi than it is to buy fillet steak and meat and all these things on top of it. Okay, so you can design a very cheap diet and it's very easy. There are some, some practical things you need to learn, like uh, buying clothes, has that got wool and stuff? There are things that you learn along the way, but dietary wise, you could switch tomorrow, no problems.